Right. Uh, some of the basic blog companies are uh, Blogger, LiveJournal, TypePad, and WordPress. Um, the two at the top of this particular slide, Blogger and LiveJournal, are free services. Um, though LiveJournal does have a pay for service component to it, um, the free services on Blogger are uh, uh, pretty good. The free services on LiveJournal are pretty good. Um, TypePad and WordPress tend to be much more professional sites. Uh, you can buy the software from TypePad and WordPress to customize and put into your personal website. So um, Blogger and LiveJournal give you a website uh, for free or for pay. And uh, TypePad and WordPress, you have to have an external website to embed the content into. I'm going to talk a little bit about the pros and cons between Blogger and LiveJournal. I mean, the focus of this particular tutorial is blog your life. So uh, we're going to talk about um, these two particular ones because they're free, they're easy to use, and uh, they're the most commonly used uh, blog uh, companies for personal blogging. Um, okay, so let's talk about Blogger for a minute. Blogger is uh, linked to Google.com, uh, which is a super hot search engine. If you don't know about Google, you should totally go to Google.com and check it out. Um, Blogger is a free account service. There is no paid component to it. Um, the things, the downsides to it are uh, that Blogger has a very limited amount of styles that you can use. Uh, so all the Blogger blogs kind of look the same. And the other thing about Blogger is that Blogger has only full and open access or totally private. There's no in-between. There's no gray area. If you put it on Blogger, it's out there for the world to see. And uh, if you take it off, it's gone. You can never see it again. LiveJournal, on the other hand, is a little bit different. LiveJournal is uh, a series of communities, and uh, it's a personal blogging site, uh, much like Blogger. You can uh, get a LiveJournal account for free or for pay, um, and uh, there's different levels of access that you have with free and paid accounts. Uh, the free accounts have a, a smaller number of styles, more than Google, but um, paid accounts have access to a huge wealth of information and different styles that you can choose to make your blog look exactly like what you want it to be. Um, there's a lot of style choices. Um, and also, too, there's different levels of privacy settings on LiveJournal. LiveJournal has uh, full access, like Google, where anyone who goes to your LiveJournal account can see what you wrote uh, on an open public uh, page. They also have what they call their LiveJournal friends. The LiveJournal friends are uh, people that also have LiveJournal accounts that you know, uh, that you give access to see certain posts. So if you uh, don't want everyone in the world to see it, you can select the LiveJournal friends uh, access, and then only your LiveJournal friends can see it. They also have custom friend settings so that you can pare down even smaller uh, uh, selections of friends uh, to only see even more private things. And then there's even a private setting where only you can see things. So LiveJournal has this wide range of privacy options that Blogger just doesn't. OK, the next slide I have here is technical details. Um, the basic thing that you need to know about blogging is that blogging is a web web-based service and it's based on HTML and XML codes. Um, HTML, Hypertext Markup Language, is the encoding system for every web page that is out there on the internet. Um, everything that you see is encoded in HTML. Um, what does that mean? Basically, there's a big list of text, and then within that text, you use these specific uh, markers called tags uh, to change the way that different pieces of text are formatted. So uh, 
I give an example here uh, of how a tag looks. Uh, and a tag uh, consists of angle brackets. It's these two things like this. Uh, and uh, a tag has an open tag and a closed tag. And the text that you're formatting fits in between those two things. So an opening tag uh, has the two angle brackets and the text of the tag, the, the tag type uh, goes in there. And then you put your text in between and then you have an end slash. Oh, wait, let me do that the other way. Yep, it's an end slash. Uh, and uh, the angle brackets uh, again. So uh, that tells it to stop doing that particular format. So tag, formatted text, and tag. I also have a handout that is available on the iMac at the Watha T. Daniel Library. You can open up that uh, page and find some of the most commonly formatted tags for your blog. Uh, and uh, if you don't have access to the iMac, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can go to www.w3schools.com and you can get all of the HTML tag encoding information you could ever want in your entire life because they have everything there. <laughs>